Getting back to what the sorceress is known for, which is flinging spells with reckless abandon, we dive into the frosty depths that serve as an intriguing mirror to the previously covered fire skills. Starting today with the direct hitters, Ice Bolt, Ice Blast, and Glacial Spike, three important and often overlooked tools in the arsenal of the ever-popular Blizzard Sorceress. So today we'll look at the three, but also why you may not want to just blindly dump into them as you level. At the bottom of the list we have a fairly overlooked low level spell, and that is Ice Bolt. It deals kind of low damage at first, but thanks to its synergies and fixed mana cost it can be a handy pocket tool for some players that lack mana recovery from things such as inside and a lack of plus skills to things like warmth. The big reasons why it tends not to be as favored as Budget Firebolt are twofold though. One is that it actually lacks one of the perks provided in its upgrades, and that's Freeze Length. Since unlike its big brothers, Ice Bolt only provides a chill instead, and two, unlike like Firebolt, even at high levels, it just cannot keep up remotely with the DPS of its bigger siblings, while Firebolt on the other hand can actually surpass its main competitor, Fireball. So generally, people are going to favor going after its big brother, Ice Blast, which at extremely high levels is actually competitive with a lot of single target damage skills, and on pure ice sources will be keeping step with even the big damage dealer Blizzard, albeit trading area of effect for precision targeting. This is one reason you'll often see it preferred for support damage against bosses on standard Blizzard Sorceresses, though it has lost a little popularity due to the cooldown changes in 2.4. But needless to say, despite its scaling cost, the fact that you'll regularly do several times the damage with it compared to other cold single target spells makes this a bread and butter skill to learn how to use, and it's even better with the icing on top of actually being able to freeze targets you're hitting, provided they're not immune to freeze of course. One catch on them though is that they travel the same speed as Ice Bolt, so you'll want to learn how to lead mobile targets a little bit with them since they both fly a little slower than the third skill, Glacial Spike. Though Glacial Spike weirdly does still end up playing second fiddle to Blast in a lot of situations, despite the fact that it has a splash effect similar to Fireball, albeit slightly larger, and actually freezes targets just like Ice Blast. So it is a good crowd control without a doubt, and I still keep it on swap for that. The drawback is it actually falls back to doing about the same amount of damage as Ice Bolt whenever you're fully invested in the skills, it's just to a group instead. All this while costing 4 more mana per cast than the same level blast results in an issue most players won't notice, and that is that they are sacrificing a lot of damage by just dumb firing the spell against single targets in between blizzard casts, when in reality you only really want to do this against actually significantly sized groups of enemies to hold them in place, but against bosses, groups of 2 or 3 enemies, or anything similar, Glacial Spike will tend to lose out a lot more to blast than a higher level skill really has any reason to, especially since its damage synergy comes from Frozen Orb and it only gets freeze length from Blizzard. That actually brings up an interesting note on these skills and how they interact with their ultimate level skills and even each other, since while Ice Bolt gets kind of pumped up by everything and anything, the other skills have more specific interactions. For example, Glacial Spike only providing freeze length to Blast and Blizzard only providing freeze length to Glacial Spike, not improving their damage. So if you want to maximize your damage, you want to take this into account, since investing in Glacial Spike after Blizzard instead of Ice Blast will result in long freeze blasts, but kind of junky damage, while investing in Blast first will result in shorter freezes, but far better damage between Blizzards, all while they boost Blizzard all the same. So considering what you want to lean into, it's pretty important to kind of think about this during the leveling phase of any of the builds that use these. So all in all, do you prefer the area of effect option to freeze a crowd, or do you prefer letting Blizzard chill the swarm while you snipe things off with Ice Blast? Mention it down below, and if you're curious how these compare to their fire mirrors, check out the video on screen now. And as always, keep gaming, have fun, and peace out. This has been Alzrath. Bye.